Hi guys, this is Dennis Hagaf and UC sales shop with you and today I wanna share with you my Grand Tour uh, trip uh, opinion about how all of this trip was well, was done and where I was and really a lot of people I was meet in, in that Grand Tour trip and so I will talk about about that mostly I will talk about the, not only my opinion but the, uh, for me as for the reviewer as, as for dealer for sure was very important to listen you know to, to, to listen uh, people to listen riders and community to, to speak with them with a different countries to see how they live what we thinking about the UC overall you know and where where, where they want to go that what direction what wheels they prefer and also many of them are subscribed to my channel and they wanted to see me to speak with me and also you know they saw uh, my my reviews about all these uh, four wheels uh, best performance for the 2023 the top one wheels like the Sherman S, Commander Pro, Bigotti AX30 and also uh, in motion V13. So yeah, so I just wanted to show to, to, to give them possibility to ensure you know by own self how it feels uh, to ride such a big uh, wheels and also I wanted to to get feedback from them you know and compare you know opinion of uh, different ri riders in different in in different Europe countries uh, with my own opinion and understand uh, just for 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 my for myself understand I'm going uh, like a r right direction you know or maybe people are have own you know different completely different opinion and sometimes just I miss a point you know here when I trying to explain to the people so this is very important part also I will I will speak today about the uh, about the wheels and my own opinion and my my opinion uh, because I was riding a lot with uh, all these wheels in the period of a relaxed time like I was in Italy uh, in the north of Italy near the Lake Garda I had a few, few days three days where to spend and I was riding a lot with uh, different wheels was tested them so my opinion was a little bit changed and I wanted to speak about that uh, a little bit also and of course the last part of the review will be about the new one wheels uh, come to the market in that period of time where I was in the trip <laughs> already made manufacturers made new models and this is also the funny story so we are producing and presenting new models to the market so fastly but uh, I am you know that guy who is in, in, in that you know you see uh, 24 on 7 but even for me sometimes it is hard you know to to understand all that information understand that all that product and try to explain you that new products <laughs> and uh, but for the people from the different countries I understand now that they just don't don't understand all that and even when we we bring you know commander pro many people just was watching on it saying and asking me what what the wheel is that <laughs> which manufacturer that the model and spits it has so understand if uh, if uh, manufacturers will uh, continue you know <laughs> doing this and bringing new and new models to the market almost the same performance same technologies models to the market so fastly so I think that this this period will come but the people just will not understand why what, what we what we want you know at all and, and even in worst case where we just will stop you know buying new wheels because it is pointless to if you buy for example master and in the past of uh, one year you have almost uh, different spits uh, wheel with a bigger price and it is just pointless to you to to to, to make the changes because we people just 
see no reason to do that, you know, so, but manufacturers don't understand that and in this moment I just wanted to say I was watching the last uh, Adam from the Poland, Adam Wrongway last is his review and just you can you know you can find it uh, this link I will share that link uh, for that review in my channel so I am uh, honestly 100% agree with Adam here and nothing you know he just repeats all my words I thinking 100% same here so if you was not watching that review please watch it so I will not you know I will not to try to, to speak you know 25 minutes uh, same like was speaking Ad, like was Adam speaking and saying and explaining his thoughts so in, in that in that point I am agree with him so watch his review 100% agree I also like Adam don't understand where manufacturers are going and why they are going that way when all dealers and all communities say don't, don't do that <laughs> and they are still doing that so the interesting times are coming in the next few years I think so but anyway we will see we will see how it's going so okay uh, firstly uh, what country I was visiting so I was I start my journey from the Lithuania uh, from the Vilnius and was going to Warsaw to, to the Poland this was my first stop uh, in Warsaw I was showing I was making the presentation with uh, with my office because we have office uh, in the Warsaw represented representative uh, so we were showing the Commander Pro and we were showing the Bigode AX30 because with V13 in motion we were seeing previously we have that wheel in our office in Warsaw and also the, the community was so the Sherman S and everybody had opportunity to ride it already so only two new wheels for the Warsaw was and uh, community and the people in Warsaw. The, the Warsaw is a big, huge city. Million, more than a million people are living there. So the, the, the city are big, you know, and the distances are also huge from the point A to the point B. And the main community in Warsaw, the riders, we all have the big with a big capacity batteries wheels and mostly we all had, had, had the Sherman and Sherman Max here and now uh, uh, step by step some riders start switching uh, to the new one product Sherman S here with a suspension and I was speaking with them and they were saying uh, the reason they were riding uh, with the main community are riding the Shermans is just because of the distances like where uh, people are living you know all around the Warsaw somebody living a little bit outside Warsaw and just to go to the center point where they making all this meeting and had has the meeting place is in the center of Warsaw near the river and just to go you know to meet friends we need to spend uh, need to go from the 15 to till the 25 kilometers you know per one side just to arrive so and need to go back so the journey just to make that will be for, from the 30 till the 50 kilometers and you know mostly small wheels it is maximum what we capable to provide to the rider so this is the main reason why we all uh, have the big capacity wheels just to head you know minimum 100 kilometers uh, for the ride per one charge this is very important because we want to ride together we want to meet and we also need to go back you know and go back home so this is very important part and I understand but in the big cities where a lot of uh, people want to you know ride together this is a very important part so this is a no no room you know for the small wheels riders here of course a lot of uh, people are riding smaller one wheels maybe who live in the city center or maybe who just rides you know individually somewhere but we're usually not right all together because of that reason just the big distances big city huge city and big distances so okay and here um, mostly yeah riders who rides 
who like to write aggressively they all like it the ax30 here and don't like it the commander pro mostly mostly so the opinion was one but the ax30 yes it is a beast and they like that acceleration they start you know testing it and they like it with this power on accelerating and braking so the overall opinion was like that so people tested the commander pro but I don't saw anybody who just said, oh, I like it so much, I will want, you know, definitely will want to change my Sherman, my Sherman Max to this one, you know, so we don't saw that, uh, but for the X30, the mostly, you know, people like it, but overall for the Poland, for the Polish community, they have quite negative experience with uh, bigody wheels because of all these issues, you know, with a uh, bigody wheel. So the people trust mostly, you know, with Ran Sherman uh, because of uh, just you buy it and you ride and you have no problem for a long time. Uh, and they like this, like the waterproofing for wet wheels, they like the durability and so on and, and simple, you know simple design and good quite good ergonomics so this is very important point for them and they're looking for that part but they want to have a not not big wheel not heavy weight wheel but with a quite big battery good performance and good mileage here so this is the important part so for them the new product should be something like the new generation of existing shermans this is also very, was very important for me to understand what they are thinking. But for the AX30, overall people like it, who, as I said, who, who, who likes to ride fast and aggressively. Okay, when we, the second one, the meeting point was the Czech Republic and we was making the presentation day in the capital of the Czech Republic in the Prague. So uh, people arrived there with a uh, different wheels. We saw there and the Master Pro wheels and the Monster Pro and the King Song 16X, 18XL and uh, wherever I was seeing the V11. One guy who come from the uh, from the Romania, Romania. Um, you see him on photo. He's a very popular guy. He working in the courier delivery and he was first one. Uh, overall on the planet as I think we've uh, he done the 50,000 uh, kilometers with uh, his in motion V11 per two years so first year he was done 30,000 and the second one he was done 20,000 kilometers uh, working in the courier delivery food delivery and for that the in motion um, made him a gift uh, gives him pre present him the uh, all new in motion v13 so he was come with a v13 and he's not tall guy and not so big weight so he was quite funny riding on that wheel and he honestly said how about the wheel too big too huge for him he get it for free but he don't think he will you know this will last long with him you know this wheel because it is very hard to him to ride it normally you know with a comfort and pleasure so overall, as I said, the people who arrived in the Czech Republic, I understand we just, you know, we all, I think we all know each hour, but uh, from the different type of wheels, I understand we are not making so many, you know, group rides uh, because of the different purpose wheels we are riding. Anyway, we all test that wheels and here also, you know, recording V13, also all tested funny yes but uh, when you just ask the question will you will you even think about the possibility to upgrade your wheel to win motion or even to the commander pro so people say no we don't think this is the right you know choice for them as for the Sherman S and as for the AX30 same situation with Sherman S as I was saying in my reviews Sherman S uh, for the people who just ride, uh, want to ride you know, normally with a comfort and the X30 for the people who ride aggressively and I even see you know from the faces when the person are stepping you know on the Sherman S from the for example some type of a King Song wheel 
and he starts riding normally you now he testing that suspension and he like it he like that ergonomics he, I see that but he likes that wheel and he start to thinking uh, about that wheel and the people who come you know with a masters monsters and, and so on so they are testing the x30 and we testing it aggressively accelerating fast braking fast jumping and so on so the Sherman is definitely not for them and we're saying what they like mostly the AX30 because of that insane performance. So this is the opinion of the riders. So overall something similar I think like it was in Warsaw but a little bit different community here was and not so many people arrived to the Prague and I think the problem was the good weather because it was first you know good Saturday weather and I think people just you know going elsewhere with the families and so on just to have rest you know with the first good hot days in the Prague. The next stop was also Czech Republic when the second big city is Brno. And in the Brno, a lot of people come because it was in, not in the Saturday but in the Sunday. A lot of people come, big community, a lot of riders, more than the 35 riders come and many come after you know, the presentation started and many people had all, all that opportunity to test them. We were spending a lot of time there, more than three hours we was you know, in one place and people just was coming and coming and was testing that wheels and also all exactly the same so the riders who come you know rides different wheels from the small one wheels till the you know big one fast one wheels and mostly they like in the Czech Republic mostly they like Kingsong products and like S22, S22 Pro and so on so uh, they like performing they not you know such a maybe speedy riders uh, overall, you know, not, you know, I'm speaking to about the each, you know, person and 100% uh, all, but mostly not speedy riders, but they like to ride off-road somewhere in the forest, like jumping and performing some type of uh, tricks. So they don't need such a big battery capacities. Uh, overall, people don't need that, but they, they need a good performance here. But as I said, overall, 50-50 in my opinion, Sherman S and EX30 depends on the needs here also. V13 no, Commander Pro not bad, but no. And here also I need to share that and to say that what idea is what Commander Pro come to the market. And if the EX30 will would not come so fastly, so the Commander Pro would have you know possibility for the good sellings here, but when the people are riding with a Commander Pro and after that stepping on the AX30 and if we, for the riders who, who want to ride aggressively with only one, you know, only one opinion but the AX30 much better one here will and for, for the people who ride uh, normally with a comfort and um, comparing also what I was saying in my review, we prefer the Sherman S to the Commander here. So this is the opinion of the community in Brno. And V13, I'll say no. Here we don't see uh, we don't see any potential you know interest in, in that wheel and even the one rider who come from Romania to meet us and had it for free say hey don't you know don't see I'm riding this wheel in the future you know so I think you know this is this is quite quite honest and understandable here so after the Brno we, we come to the Hungary in the to the Budapest and also I have here few days to rest and after we had the presentation demo day and even it was you know uh, Wednesday I think yeah and Wednesday so it was after the work uh, time after the five o'clock so not you know for all people good time but so many riders come from the different even from the different cities so we had so big event where and a lot of riders come and all of them you know was speaking English and here also important part what for example in the Czech Republic in the in the Warsaw not so many riders speaking English and usually you know using the local languages to communicate each other understandable but 
also for each for each for each language where you don't speak that English so it was a little bit hard to us you know to speak directly with them but anyway we have our representative person there and was helping us with translation and so on so not big deal but for the hungary i was surprised so so many people come uh, different you know age and we all almost all of them are speaking English good and we want to communicate and we are asking a lot of questions and we had a good time not only you know testing wet wheels but also you know speaking each other and speaking about the wheels and for the Hungary of course no not of course but for the Hungary many people like you know Sherman as here because we are not so many aggressive rider was in that event but many people arrived you know so we te was testing mostly was testing Sherman X uh, Sherman S and also was testing AX30 and many people was testing testing V V13 because many emotion lovers you know <laughs> come to that event they, they wanted to test that wheel but after we test that and so many times try to you know to understand that wheel we was take that write a little bit you know put that back when after some moment said can i try it again can i try it again but after we write more you know opinion didn't change you know and people just look 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 at me a little bit frust frustrated here in that point so anyway same situation here but mostly people like it Sherman S like the comfort one product you know for riding not such aggressively here in the city in the Budapest so and uh, of course the people was talking you know was talking about the prices I mean the people just was saying what uh, many of them don't need such a big wheels and just by community we meeting somewhere and had a small you know group rides 30 kilometers per day 40 kilometers per day and we're saying we don't need the budapest not so small city but anyway just community you know it's grow it like that but people not rides you know so much but want to ride and we were speaking mostly about the high prices of the wheel but in this period of time of a few years the prices for the top products you know rise it twice uh, and we're just saying we sometimes we just we, we like for example Sherman S but just for it usage how it is uh, we don't see we need to spend so many my, money you know uh, so much money spent to that wheel just because we are not using that wheels in such way you know uh, just 24 hours per day and so on so many of them was asking in the Budapest was asking regarding the veteran pattern new one will because this will already was announced uh, at that moment and presentation day but we was asking like well, maybe this one will be you know cheaper maybe more acceptable for us but I was trying to explain what the difference between the Sherman S here and the pattern are you know not so big in the weight so pattern 40 kilos when we you know just firstly we announced it 40 kilos but after i think we was realized it is too much we write 39 39 kilos but it will be funny you know i will make my measurement well the pattern will arise and it's already going to me so I will just leave it a little bit you know to the end to speak about the new products more here but idea was what uh, even the pattern it is still very heavy almost the same like the Sherman S and still very uh, high price for for this one wheel so for the people you know it is pointless because many riders who came in the Hungary were was riding Kingsong wheels uh, like we know 18XL, like 16X, a lot of them come with in motion V11 because of the suspension lightweight and good price here and the overall performance more than enough for that type of a group people and uh, we're just searching you know for possibilities many riders come with a, like the options we start switching to the T4 bigode just but overall the weight rising and T4 weight is 34 kilos 35 now with a metal cases so also the weight arising but people don't want to have such a big and heavy weight wheels here also very important point here I saw riders with a King Song S22 also there so the idea is what we are searching for the wheel with a 
you know, not high performance. We don't need high performance wheel. We need the new one wheel to switch, you know, to change the product to new one. But don't want to pay, you know, twice the price, have a twice the battery and twice weight here. So this this opinion also was very important to us. So we people are waiting and looking for the new product, but these new products are coming, but not meet, you know, that requirements what the people want to see with the new wheels. So this is about the Hungary. But overall, was super super one event. A lot of people come. We had our time. Mm, just good time. We have we had good time <laughs> there with such people. So who are watching me? Big thanks for you, Hungarian community. It was really nice to meet all of you and speak all of, with all of you. And after that, we have also a free time. And we was going to the north of Italy to the Lake of Agarda uh, and had three days to rest. You know and to write and I start my journey with uh, testing the wheels I have with me and I starting to riding more with a X30 start to riding more with a with a V13 with a Commander Pro uh, and just just test them you know in different situations we was riding near the lake you know in the beach we was riding with uh, public roads we were riding to the hills and hard off road and was testing uh, that wheels in all conditions to understand what wheel for me are better and if my mind you know changes or not so about that i will speak uh, also a little bit you know later in my second one part uh, but I had my time and had really pleasure time. So if you are not, was not visited, you know, Garda Lake, uh, this is a very beautiful one place, and I honestly recommend you to visit one this one place in the Italy. So we had the presentation day in the Milan, and a lot of riders come in the to the Milan presentation, but. We had only one problem here uh, because of the law in, in the Italy, so um, people are cannot, you know, meet more than the 30 people at one place without the government permission and organize such, such a type of event. So we need we needed to limit, you know, the quantity of uh, riders who will arrive. But anyway, the more riders was come, and we have uh, our pleasure ride in the Milan and uh, people was testing all that wheels uh, and here i was testing wheels i was testing the x20 because i we never use that we never buy them from the bigotti but i was tested that wheel in that presentation day i also was tested the king song s22 pro because i still had not possibility to make that test and honestly, I can say regarding Quest 22 Pro, I, do, I was not thinking what the performance difference will be so huge from the zero, you know, and the torque difference between the old one, 22, and new one motor. And this performance are really, diff really big. And the S22 Pro much better now for the, just for the dynamic ride, accelerating, braking, and riding somewhere in the off-road, in the hill rides, and so on. Now it is much more better and now I understand why we, we are sold all wheel so fastly S22 Pro compared to S22 wheels we had you know for a long time to sell. So this is very important also part. So really nice product now for me it's looking like really ni nice completed product uh, from the King Song and it is making a lot of uh, sense to buy when you want to to get you know quite good range not not so you know compared to the not so big compared to the Shermanness and so on so all these huge big wheels but still quite good range good uh, suspension performance I like it suspension even in the first batch of uh, S22 all this shock absorber with the spring all this compression damping and so on I was telling a lot of, about that I like that uh, like that suspension now it has the torque not such such a big weight 35 kilos still good 20 inch wheel so all seems here and the price are still in the good range of a price 3000 euros really good price for the wheel such who which has such a you know such a performance pack like as i was saying the battery the weight and, and the wheel diameter the power and so on and the price 
so may make the hair sense and the Italian people, the Italian community, very good guys, they were speaking a lot, I was not understand, don't understanding nothing here in Italian, but we were speaking very fast, a lot speaking, we had our, you know, guy who translate for us, all that stuff, thank you very much for that, you know, support. Uh, because for Italia we also, you know, mainly people don't speak, you know, English. So, yeah, we've had, we've had some conversations, you know, some, some of our writers were speaking, but, you no, know, mostly we don't speak, you know, English here. But anyway, what I wanted to say was that the community is very friendly and all riders seems like to be very professional so they are come with uh, all these you know guards with professional helmets all this knee protection and so on so they was all ready for race you know uh, just look at you know look at like all the way ready for race and the wheels are modificated with all these parts pedals and additional modifications like the suspensions and so on so yeah, and I see what the people are living with that, they doing all that and they like it. And when you see like the, the rider is staying you know, next to you and here looking like he had all his protective gear on, on, uh, with him and the wheel are ready for the hard race and when we start you know, riding we understand what we are riding hard. And here for uh, such a guys, you know, no room for the small and uh, wheels with a low performance. And mostly we was testing. We was testing, of course, all of the wheels, but as usual, AX30 for them, yes, that one will, because many of them come with a masters, and this is already showing what, uh, what level, you know, we need, what the next level of a wheel we need. And of course, only the AX30 can give this new one level v13 also no as usual no funny but no the commander pro same like the master so if we have as i said x30 the commander pro made no, no sense here and sherman s some people like the sherman s but performance are not so great so uh, overall sherman s don't make such a you no know, for for all community so such a wow effect you know here so what we say wow i like it so much no we say it is too soft and too slow slowly you know reacts to the movement like the acceleration braking so the x30 here like it mostly and as, as i said as after we had a ride we was returning we was going with a car speedly very fastly 60 70 kilometers per hour just middle of a street just going with a cars and understand what we are riding quite aggressively you know but the the riders also say but what we are riding so fastly only in not in the city center we are riding usually you know somewhere you know outside city somewhere in the not such a you know big intense public road with a lot of cars with a lot of people and i understand that because i was in the like the tourist in the milan few years ago and really city center a lot of a car a lot of a people and it's just impossible even to ride with a wheel it's just impossible sometimes even walk you know so many people everywhere so many tourists overall many people were so and the police here are looking if you're riding fastly in the city center the police can you know write you on ticket and you will have definitely problems so if the riders are riding somewhere outside the cities more quiet places where police don't you know do, don't do nothing here and we just had such a you know not official deal not to you know going in the city center and police don't don't press them you know with the tickets and so on so also very interesting experience here but overall as i said x30 x30 dominating wheel for them for the like the possibility to buy next wheel next level wheel here for the performance so this is the, not my opinion but the people opinion so after that we have a, a few more days three more days in the three days uh, and we was going to the friends uh, to the nizza and we was riding till the Monaco and back till the Cannes. So all these hill roads near the beaches, also our over real towns with small villages. We was riding everywhere in that period of time. And I was also testing the commander, testing Sherman <coughs> mostly. 
and after that we we just was waiting for the next hour trip should be uh, Sweden, Stockholm and uh, all this meeting place and date and time was already agreed with a community but when we was going back and we stay for the night in the Germany in the middle of the Germany uh, just we start uh, communicating with uh, community our partners our friends and we're saying what in the Sweden at that time are minus seven now it uh, gets very cold in the few days minus seven minus eight and a lot of the snow now icy roads and they sent us pictures it is just a deep winter wear so we decide not to go because also a lot of the people will will come from the different cities and will have no possibility to test the wheels and it is not even possible you know to stay just you know just to stay outside plus minus eight i even was not you know taking so such a hot uh, clothes winter clothes with me because when we was going from Lithuania in Sweden was also spring and we just had about the plus seven same weather like in Lithuania no snow but so such a big difference so for the Sweden community sorry guys once more again deep sorry I will try you now to visit you as I was promised this, this year will bring some new wheels with me for the testing and we will have our our right i i just want want to honestly no promise you here but anyway we needed to return to the lithuania after i was making also presentation in lithuania in two cities in the capital vilnius um, and I, at our main office after i was visited shaulei our big community um, in shaulei after i was visited the latvia the riga capital of the latvia riga and also had presentation where and people also was testing wheels and here I know just because I know this community is closer uh, mostly people are my friends and we're riding together sometimes you know I just ride I just going to the uh, quite often I'm going to the Shaulia I'm going to the Riga and I know all of these people so I know what all they are aggressive riders so here x30 was dominating one wheel so no chances even for the sherman s yes somebody tested say sherman s it is good comfort wheel but <laughs> we all this crazy my friend riders so hey i'll just saying x30 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 no way to buy you know we all want the next you know next level of a performance and don't care don't care comfort perform performance first comfort is second so this is not my you no know, choice it is i am to choose the comfort but you see you see how the community reacts so x30 was dominating wheels and uh, wheel and now i know what bigotti has so many uh, orders for the wheels and the huge delays in production for the x30 so we made so many wheels and finally in the past of that i think you know one year two years maybe so the, the first success was the master and now second one success is the x30 so before wheels so we make it so many wheels to to finally find some type of a success here so we, we, this is how it looks so regarding the, my own opinion second the part of the review my own opinion so i was riding in the italy I was riding fastly and we, uh, firstly I was riding with a Commander Pro but I saw what the Italian riders and the people like the, you know the, like the people overall were very aggressive you know riders aggressive people I don't know how to say that not aggressive but for the riding style with a cars uh, they are very aggressive so if we have uh, uh, road signed the 30 they will go 60 70 if we have 50 they will go 90 so here it is very you no know, uncomfortable to ride with a Sherman S or come even with a commander pro 
because you need to accelerate very fast when you're going in in the public road and a lot of people are going with the cars so I, I even feel like they're trying you know to push me from the road they're trying to you know overpass me as fast as they can and even if we have 50 I am going 60 with a wheel uphill they still you know overpassing me on 80 and this is quite aggressive and I uh, immediately start feeling uncomfortable because I feel like I am not, you know, I, if I will ride like, like that often I will have a lot of uh, trouble here. So and when the wheel or you know battery for example for the Shermaners uh, are going you know lower I understand that I cannot you know push so hard and I cannot go so fast because I will have my cut off and so on. So here when I start to using the X30 seems all start going quite fine you know even no, only on the roads where we have a sign 70 so better not to you now start riding where because all going on 90 and overpassing you on such a high speed and you're going on the limits of your wheel so this is quite risky but overall in most you know, cases, in most roads in all the, these villages, we have signs 30 and 50. So for the X30, I start to feel comfort and I start riding more with the X30 and I understand what this wheel is built for that. And I can use it like a motorcycle, you know, I'm accelerating fast, braking fast and you know, I am not a problem for all this, you know, an hour. Um, users on the roads with, with drivers and so on so they just you know going with me and see no problem because why I'm speaking about that because for example in France uh, or in, in the Spain we, we, I don't have that problem for the friends people are not so aggressive uh, you know drivers and they are just you are going 50 signs uh, you, you can go 50 you are going 50 and all people usually okay with that they just don't do nothing here just going with you and you feel that you know for the for the Spain I was riding a lot in Spain in, in many cities between the cities they don't care you if if you can go 50 you're going 40 nobody cares all you know will go you know just back from you and will not attempt you no know, to overpass you if they see they can you know had had a problems with a contact and just they you know uh, see the risks you know to, to get a problems and just don't do like that so this is the difference between the mentality in the countries so but uh, for me it was good experience to ride with a AX30 and I was you know was feeling that what this wheel is built you know for the hard performance and after that when I was riding a lot with AX30 it was fine for me with a suspension because I was riding a lot with a one wheel it seems for me it's working I was riding a lot of road I was going up hills you can see these photos these footages and so on I was going up hill down hill on all these rocks and so on now, of course, ergonomically it is not comfortable, but the weight uh, 48.5 kilos was, no, was not so critically bad for me. I don't know why, but ergonomically it was not comfortable, you know, to, to go in all these hills of road when you need to take an overpass with a, wheels, with a wheel on all these rocks. But I, don't, I cannot say that this is, was so annoying, I cannot, you know, make that once more again with a X30. So, Yes, of course, with a Sherman S, with all these handles, it would be much better here. This is very, very important part. But and also, I need to say that for the X30, we was you know we was taking that wheel originally like it is with all these original pads, because on the Commander Pro we had the Grizzla pads on the. On the V13 we have the kinetic parts, also on the Sherman S I have the pedals in Illinois, you can see that, good pedals. And here I am going to that point and that moment, very important moment, want to say you and announce you that for the orders, so we have now the UC sales shop have a partnership with a, with a, with a Nilanovi and with a Grizzla parts, one of factors and every uh, our client who buy from us will 
from the 3000 euro till the 4000 euro get from us the coupon the permanent one time usage coupon code with a 10% discount for the both manufacturers you can use it wherever you want just to get the discount of for the pads and pedals and wherever you want to order for that from these two manufacturers and if you are buying from us on the 4000 euros and more you get the 15 percent discount coupon code from us this is like the additional bonus from our ussl.com shop for you like the gift because we know and understand what Riding with uh, uh, regional pads, pedals, usually you know, not acceptable for the riders who buy such a high performance wheel. So this is for us uh, common, you know, common solution to to give to give you something, you know, and you will use it like you want to use it, you know, with the order you will make uh, from these two manufacturers. So we, so if. If you will make the order, don't forget to ask the, for uh, ask for for that you know discount coupon codes here. So this is clearly I want a clear message I want to deliver to you. So the idea is as I was saying, even the X30 in Italy with the original path was quite aggressive for me and quite I was understanding what this wheel are, has much better performance compared to all on our wheels here so with additional pads sometimes i was needed them when i was going hard off-road so with additional pads much more performance would be no unlock it for that wheel and even i can honestly say after i was riding so much in italy with x30 i was start thinking you know because i was decide to to leave for 2023 to live for myself my needs were Sherman S and after that I was riding a lot with AX30 in Italy and all these roads all this power I start to thinking you know maybe I was wrong you know but anyway when I start to think what I need to buy all these you know setups to make it you know all these paths and so on made that suspension working you know different like I like all these linkages new shock absorber change the tire and so on and so on I just has no time you know for that and and even when I start using the Sherman S back in the friends so I immediately understand what this comfort is for me better to have comfort so for, for the friends usually I was riding with a Sherman S and Sherman S was more than enough for me for the riding only in the few situation I had uncomfort you know when I was riding between the Nizza and to the Monaco when we just you know public uh, um, tiny hills public road started with a sign 70s uh, the car start, start going you know fast and no room to overpass uh, me like the rider normally because when I'm going you know 60-65 I'm using all the road because I cannot, you know, just, you know, keep, you know, one line going, cornering with a, such a high speed with a wheel. I need to keep all line to go fast to get, you know, my corners and to get that reaction. So, but for the people behind me, I understand what I'm too slow for the car. So, thanks God, this, you know, this ride was not so big, few kilometers only. But overall, I was immediately I was understanding what the Shermanes are not enough for such aggressive riding, or I will risk, you know, with a with a cut off because I will just over push it some some moment some somewhere, you know, and get that cut off, you know, and this will be not good. So here, the AX30 would be just perfect, you know, perfect to make that, you know, fast speed rise. But in every in our cases in the towns, we sang sang fifty, sang uh, sang thirty kilometers. You can go with cars and that comfort, that pleasure. We was riding to the Cannes. I was riding a lot with all these hills and going to see the castle on the hill and so on. All these you know bad roads and so on. So really nice to ride with a Sherman I get my pleasure and you know just 
I get the pleasure from from the comfort when I you know we was riding uh, at that day 70 kilometers maybe 75 kilometers per day and after that I just you know stop and I just feel what I get my pleasure from the comfort I don't feel tired I don't feel tired at all, you know, just perfect shape, perfect mood, perfect, you know, all, all for me seems to be good. But what only one moment is when you need to push it, you know, and even though, as I say in France, when you have all this, you know, uh, wing roads on hills, how we, serpentine roads on the hills, and you cannot, you know, perform so, such a fast on the corners. You need to accelerate. And with for Shermanness, I feel like, you know, the angle is big, you know, and I need to accelerate. The car, cars are going, you know, back of me. And I see my battery, only half of a battery. And I understand, I will push it more to go accelerate faster. And I will over push that. And we, at this moment also, you know, it was some type, you know, for moments when I was uncomfortable, you know, I just wasn't, I was just understand what I am, you know, slow down all the traffic behind me. So, in that moment, you know, we, we need more power here. But overall, if I pass all that, you know, crazy, crazy one moment, small, overall, I like the Sherman S of how it rides and how that performance of the suspension and so on. So this is the, our journey, you know, we made in the two weeks, in the two weeks and a lot of, as I said, a lot of opinion and just to finalize my, my review here, my opinion, just I wanted to say that mostly the people talking, you know, talking the same like I'm talking in the review, this is part was for me very important to understand the direction I am, you know, I'm speaking and uh, about the wheels and sharing my opinion are uh, similar to the most riders in all countries because, you know, as I said, we meet, I think, three 300, maybe 400 riders overall, you know, at all this presentation in different countries. Different culture, uh, different people, you know, different age uh, and so on. And the people, overall people say, you know, I see what the people say, same, you know, same, same stuff, same things say about the UEC, what we think about the quality of, about the products. And here I am coming, you know, to the, to the last one part of my review to all these new wheels the manufacturers already showed to us <laughs> when we was going in that <laughs> two weeks event. And firstly, I want to speak a little bit about the veteran pattern. It's already coming to our shop and my, review, my next review will be about the veteran pattern. I think in the next two weeks, I think. Uh, and regarding the pattern, as I was saying, with some, some riders who are riding the smaller one wheels and they just have no possibilities, they are waiting for the new small products, interesting product, but they have no possibility you know, to get that. But they even start thinking about the pattern to buy and they asking, what do you think about pattern and bring, you will bring it to us for the review or something like that. Uh, and. We don't understand what this pattern is 40 kilo, kilograms weight and the Sherman S is 44 and the pattern, the pattern has the small wheel diameter and small battery, big price, big weight and low mileage here. So overall we, we still will not, don't get you know normal upgrade from the small one wheel to the new one small wheel. We, we will, get the big upgrade with uh, paying a lot of money still with paying a lot of money here and will have big wheel and heavy just for this all these new three wheels we saw in the past one month it was firstly pattern when come commander mini and when the bigotti announced the bigotti extreme and we all say what this wheel is 18 inch and so I have here questions and I have even tires for a wheel to explain you. So here, this is the tire from the Kingsong 18L, 18XL. This is the 18 inch on 2.5. Normal standard tire for the normal 80, 80 inch wheel. 18 inch wheel. Sorry for that. 
So this is the, for me it is like the standard, for this is the original in the bicycle, you know, dimension 18 inch wheel, because if it would be, if it will, would be the 18 on free, it will be 19, you know, so 18 on free or Knobby tire, like here we have, it is already 20 where, just like the dimension, so this one is the tire from the T4, tire from the Mini, tire from the Patton, and I believe this tire also will be in the Bigotti Extreme. So you can compare the difference, and they say that this tire is also 18 inch, so you can see the difference. I don't know, you see it, I hope you see the difference. It is two centimeters difference between the tire and this is not even the 18 on 3, it is 18 on 2.5, so the difference are big. So how we can, you know, call here with such a difference, 2 centimeters, how we can call that this one is a 18 inch also tire, I don't know, but I understand why all these problems now are coming, because firstly, we was using the bicycle tires and on the bicycle tires you measure it, I was explaining from the border to the border of the tire. So this is the 18 for them. In the motorcycle and car world we are measuring inner dimension, the rim dimension. So rim dimension is smaller one. So this is the problem now come because this tire measurement are 18 on 2.5 bicycle tire. This tire measurement is 20 inch on free. So this is motorcycle measurement. So you can call it how, wherever you want in the bicycle now dimension, but I don't know exactly. I need to calculate how many centimeters it will be, but it is not 18. Because, for example, for the 16 inch tire, in the motorcycle dimension, it will be 20 on 2.75. But here we have 20, uh, sorry, not 20, 12, 12 on 2.75, but here we have 12 on 3, so it is bigger than the usual 16 on 3 tire, bigger and wider, had a lot of, you know, a lot of rubber here, so tire are bigger, but it is still not 18 inch wheel tire compared to the bicycle dimension, so Tricky, tricky story here, but overall you understand the difference. But anyway, this is not 18 inch wheel, it's not, not, not comparable to the 20 inch Sherman, for example, or AX30, or I don't know, wherever. Commander, uh, and so on, Master. So this is the idea what I was talking about. So idea is you get the pattern with a 16 inch, not 16, 17 inch, I think, wheel, tire, small one wheel. So small one wheel, knobby tire, uh, handling and overall performance on the high speed will be no sta not stable. So you can will not able to run fastly with that wheel with a good stability in handling. You know, it is also like the norm. So suspension for the pattern are, you know, smaller tra travel, so even the suspension for the Sherman S, you know, on the limits, how it works, you know, but for the pattern, for the heavy riders, it will be a lot of a problem because the travel are smaller and shock absorber for a smaller one compared to the Sherman, compared to the Sherman S, so sm smaller tire, smaller suspension performance and smaller battery, 2020. At uh, 2200 uh, watt hour, small battery and quite big price over 3000, I think 3200 euros. So, for that, you no know, performance for me, honestly, better to buy S22 because it is made more sense. Honestly, it has good uh, performance suspension, it is uh, 5 kilograms, kilograms less weight, 335 kilos, and it has same battery capacity, same voltage, very good power motor now, good motor, uh, ergonomically it is good, and most important, it has 20 inch wheel, and the performance on the high speed will be much better anyway here, and the price for the S22 are I think 150 to 100 euros even lower, you know, compared to the pattern. And here, for me, it is no sense for the wheel. Because for the pattern, all the same wheel should be built in the weight till the 35 kilos. And in that re for that reason, it makes some sense here. But 40 kilos wheel, 
made no sense for me. But we will see. I will get V1, I will make the measurements, I will make test and, and will also share with you. But as now, as, as I can see for all of that, I see but this is not really no right direction. And I listen for all that clients I was meeting in all Europe countries. I, I listen for them and I understand what I am saying now the truth for, for you. This, this, this is where not, 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 not exactly that product what all you know was weighted. And for the price here and for the weight of course here also. So if a manufacturer cannot you know, provide the good weight ratio here, so it, uh, it is, uh, makes no sense to make the wheel with a little bit, you know, uh, uh, not poorest, like I said, with a smallest, little bit smallest possibilities compared to the Sherman S, because for me it's better to buy Sherman S for sure for all this you know stuff and pay after 300 euros and get the Sherman S uh, when get the pattern here and I see no reason only with 20 uh, 200 uh, 126 volts but small battery it will not last long so it will be not no long range wheel here this is also you no know, also very important problem we meet uh, with a pattern so uh, if we will speak about the bigody wheel, so uh, next for, for for like the next for, from the pattern bigody immediately with extreme bull company we made the presentation of a bigody mini and here also all the same situation for the mini we made this like the, with a uh, master rim with, uh, but smaller dimension, smaller suspension, you know, 2400 watt hour battery uh, and overall the price still will be high, I see on the videos that the suspension are bottoming always even with a Chinese rider, so for the Ebro riders it will be bottoming always, you know, small wheel, big price the weight also will be about 40 kilos here, I understand that because T4 was uh, with a new upgraded uh, shells, uh, metal, metal shells was 35 kilos, so here we will have definitely 40 kilos wheel and for me it is also making no sense. And even, you know, maybe in some, you know, some time pass and people will try it and buy it and review it. Uh, people maybe will like that wheel because of the 134 volts, but we now present the Bigode Extreme with uh, EX30 motor, you know, and better performance overall. And also, we just kill it the Commander Mini. It is not even start sell that and kill it immediately. And nobody now will want. Commander Mini because the all will now will wait for the extreme. It is very strange what we are doing. It is very strange. So because we announcing wheels, not selling well, not even start producing and announcing new wheel, you know, and announcing new and new and new. And also even for the extreme, we will uh, for extreme. I understand we will have that and you know, for a review and we'll order them. I understand because it will be insane performance wheel, but it will kill you know all on our wheels and we we still need to see the price for that and to see building quality of course how these first batches will come and so on. But anyway, all all, all wheels will be killed and here when you have you know X30 and. Uh, and this is no way for you, you know, to, to go to the extreme because it's a smaller one wheel. And it will be also 40 kilos, I think even 41, 42 maybe kilos wheel uh, for that performance. I think so because it is, will be heavier than the master. So it will, it will be 40 for sure. And so to buy X30 or extreme. I should buy the X30 because I have multi-purpose wheel, go everywhere I want and long range. So guys, this is my final thoughts, what I'm thinking about all these small wheels uh, free from the free manufacturers, uh, which will come soon to the market this year and only, only the clients here, I think, the riders will decide. Uh, this product will be popular and maybe I am wrong here but anyway 
I just try to explain you what I'm thinking and, I, and what thinking that community, what riders, uh, where I was meet all of them in different countries. So we will see. Uh, and finally, uh, I wanted to speak about the new one King Song product S19. Uh, come to the market soon also this year as so production I think start in the middle of uh, summer as the King Song promised it to us and here I also have my opinion and I tried also explain why that uh, to the King Song uh, idea is that King Song made S18 it was the first product uh, wheel with a suspension from them uh, nine, uh, 18 inch uh, wheel with a suspension a uh, 84 volts uh, 1100 watt hour battery and this wheel has uh, in my opinion only one uh, good point but it is a lightweight wheel and for riders who don't need the, the big mileage you know to run just 30 kilometers uh, with a fun ride and you can see it from my review I was explaining why only 30 kilometers I see of hard and fun ride and after the battery are dried and so you cannot you know just accelerate and, and go fast with that wheel so till the 30 kilometers we feel this wheel is uh, capable to provide some power and some speed Anyway, so idea is what this wheel uh, still, you know, now uh, actual because of the lightweight. It is weight about 25 kilos for so for the 18 inch wheel uh, suspension. Uh, this 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 makes uh, and the price tag about two two thousand one hundred euros. So this makes sense for that wheel for the, some type of a group uh, of riders who like the lightweight wheels but want you know performance and suspension. So. And honestly, like the evolution of the wheel, King Song should made, you know, S19 wheel, uh, almost the same, you know, same concept, this is the same concept, it is not just, you know, you know like a new one product with a different tire, uh, with different, you know, size of a tire, with a different conception, uh, concept and so on. So it is like evolution should firstly come S19 here. Um, same wheel diameter, same almost same suspension, same principle of all this mechanism, how it works, same look actually, almost same, just the rise it, you know, voltage of a wheel till 100 volt and battery till uh, 1800 watt hour. And this for me, like looking the next, you know, step from the S, uh, S, S18 to S19. And after that, I think after a few years, we should, you know, provide to the market like the S20, S22 or S22 Pro, like it's called now, the next step, you know, the next step of a wheel with 126 volts, uh, 2200 watt hours and so on. So 20 inch wheel, bigger tire on the same rim and so on. So this for me, like it should be like the evolution of the same product from one company. But we do the big step uh, from the S18 uh, to the S22 now, we will call it like S22 Pro. And now for me, it seems like we are going step back to the S19 uh, here with a lower speeds, a little bit lower price and so on. So for me, it is like, I don't see, you know, uh, any reason to, for the clients who own now S20, S22 to buy S19 because this product is, has lower speeds and regarding the weight, the weight are almost the same. So for the, for the S19, it is 30, two kilograms uh, and for the S22 is 35 kilograms so three kilograms only difference between these wheels will be but the wheels performance are uh, difference are really really big and regarding the price tag we see now the price for the wheel will be about 2700 euros so for the S22 Pro is three 3100 euros so only 400 euros difference between these two wheels so and for a client you know who want to step uh, to the big wheels uh, and who want to get the high performance and top end product here uh, I see the choice will still will be S22 Pro so for me as I was saying S19 is product 
I don't know how to call it this product like a step back and I don't see the market for, for this one product here but anyway as I said time will come and will show us how it will be in real but I see the situation like that right now because in my deep opinion if a King Song wanted to make some you know cheaper one wheel so and smaller wheel we still needed to you know to to made it uh, till the 30 kilograms, maybe 28, 29 kilograms, but not to you know overstep the 30 kilograms weight. This is the one important point, and the second one important point that the price tag should be remained about the 2000, maybe 200, 2000, 300 max for that wheel to make the price difference. And the clients, you know, who don't want to pay additional 1000 or 900 euros, he will decide, you know, he will live with a cheaper one product or, or he will buy the expensive one and then get the maximum performance uh, maximum speeds the company can provide to him so but now this uh, this difference are so small between s22 pro and s19 uh, with a price and with a weight but different speeds performance so i feel i feel i think what uh, this this is the way to no way here for the Kingston, but we will see and just uh, what we do uh, for the S S19 we put the speakers uh, in the back side like we integrated in the pads and here I also have my opinion and the clients also have already said opinion about that but uh, uh, having no possibility you know to put additional pads like the Grizzler pads like the kinetic pads and many another pads produced on the market uh, uh, making uh, no sales not possible for aggressive riders because you know all these pads are making not you know just like uh, uh, not uh, why these parts are making from a manufacturer because this is the individual you know it depends of riding style and depends of uh, of uh, height of uh, rider and weight of a rider and so on so all, all these parts need to be you know adjusted by the leg of a rider his needs and how he feel that comfort and so on so for the S19 we don't have that possibility anymore to, to make some adjustment and uh, also, uh, just uh, c uh, comparing, you know, S22 Pro, which, 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 this one has that possibility to put the additional pass and adjust all that, and S19 don't have that, but S19 have the RGB lights all around it and good music, as King Song says. So only you know that moment cannot bring many clients you know, to, uh, and be like the most moment to choose the S19 like we will. So the music and lights, it is not so important. I don't know why the King Song thinks that this is very important for the riders. It is not important. So many another moments more important here, but. This is the way, you know, like the King Song uh, going right now, so I cannot you know, comment here anymore, but uh, anyway, as for me, if you ask me, I don't understand that product and I don't understand why he come uh, right now uh, and not come, you know, just after the SS18 was come, you know, like the normal upgrade you know normal evolution of uh, of uh, product line so now we have step back so this is this is what i wanted to say here anyway we will you know have one i think uh, just to test it but we'll see you know feedback from the clients and from the market and if the clients will be interested we will start you know uh, start to order that wheels from the manufacturer but now as i can see i don't see that Okay guys, so thank you once more, this review was really long, I want to share all my opinion about the trip, about the, my, about the, all these opinions of customers all around the Europe and so on, so yeah, it was long, uh, more than one hour, so next one review will be in the next, I think, few weeks about the pattern, and so guys, thank you for watching, Dennis Hagov with you, see you guys soon, bye bye.